on some site saying, okay, yeah, I made a political donation. All right? One of the lovely things Multigo picks up. So thank you, Rolf. Hmm, what's the next picture? Hmm. Side of the house. All right, so basically you have an address, you have a virtual reconnaissance. Now, I'm sure a couple of you are probably look Googling who lives on Mill Road, Mill Ridge. And I'm sure a bunch of you already know because you've done work with them. What's so funny? You know who it is? <laughs> All right. Well, what do we see here? We basically have done a full perimeter view. All right. So if you're using LinkedIn, okay, our lovely site, how many of you use TripIt? Come on. A bunch of people use TripIt, right? You want to know who's going to be where you're going and blah, 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 whatever, who's at what conference. So now you just left your house open because they know you're away. All right, you're an InfoSec consultant. Okay, you're a red team guy, like Super Chris here. What do you know about alarm systems? Who knows alarm systems here? What's the one place they never take care of? Okay, besides skylights is one. We see some skylights there, some second story windows. What's another famous spot? Bathroom windows. Why? Because the brake tape. So now you know your entry points into this house. Where are you going to go? Because if this guy's got that many guards, he's probably got alarm systems. And ironically, for some reason, by the wooded area, there's no fencing. But behind the house, there is. So that's another example of what your information out there can do. Virtual reconnaissance. Has it happened? Yes. People have used this to break into other people's houses and know where you live. People put too much info, information out there. All right? one, of the big, one of the big things that I found was how many people use LinkedIn and put their personal email address for LinkedIn. Okay, Because now you're dealing with people in business. What happens when you deal with people in business? Okay, so if I'm dealing with Chris and Chris is dealing with Jeremiah, what are you going to want to know? Who they're working with. So how are you going to know who they're working with? You just sit there and watch their streams, who their new friends are, who their new connections are. Hmm, Jeremiah just connected with so-and-so from who's Alan Hamilton. Maybe he's going to do work for them. So now I know what security scanner they're using. Okay, so-and-so is using Qualys now because they just connected with a Qualys sales rep. What's that tell me? Well, if I use Qualys, I can scan their network, and it's already allowed because the Qualys IP addresses are allowed on that network. What else we got here? Let's go into the fun stuff. Should I? Should I? What's the worst that can happen? Do, do you want me to save the good thing for last or now? All right, so everything's redacted on this one, so I'm safe. All right, so there's a certain somebody in some security industry that just from an email address, we found this Flickr account, we found this Skype, we found this personal info connected to his LinkedIn. Down, found out the day he enlisted into the military. From that, we found his, his wife, his kids, everybody's Facebook account. All right, what kind of threats there? That wasn't the fun stuff. Fun stuff was wifeposter.com. Yes, it's a wife swapping site. Change it.
testing one, two. Hello? Yeah, it's not working. It is on. The green light doesn't go on when it... Get her to help me. Hello? All right, so some of the interesting stuff we find, we find people on wife swapping sites. Unfortunately, I won't be there because I don't have a wife. Chris, he'll be there. <laughs> oh, wrong picture, sorry. Now, one of the big questions I, I was always asked by the, the media is, how much of a role did uh, sex play in this? And I would have to say it was a lot. But Ogali didn't fall for it, so when we're going back to who fell for it, here's an example of her Facebook page. And that was actually left up there. Okay, so as most of you could see, you know, he found out all this info, blah, blah, blah. He noticed that she lived in Mayock, North Carolina with the post office box to Blackwater, all that stuff. All the stuff that just stuck out like a sore thumb that nobody else could pick up on. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I meet somebody, the first thing I do is Google them. All right, me, I'm lucky. You know why? Where I live, there's 594 Thomas Ryans within a 90-mile area, so I'm kind of safe. Ironically, eight of them have the same exact birthday as me. Now, how do we find this type of information out? Okay, so where are we? Was that? Oh, let's try a warrior project on the internet. Um, so there's a bunch of different things. Uh, what else do we got? A bunch of people's personal info. Chapman. Now, the reason why a lot of this got so much press is probably because, you know, two weeks prior to this actually coming out when Kelly wrote the article. How many of you remember Anna Chapman? Cute girl, right? Cute redhead. What was she doing? Spy. Nobody knows what she's doing in the media. Nobody will tell you what she was actually doing, but what, what was she known for? All her social media connections. What? <laughs> Let me make sure it's just me on this. Hold on. What happened? Damn, Windows 7. It froze. All right, I'll show you guys in a minute. As soon as Windows wakes up, That's what I get. I know. Shut up. <laughs> All right. So where did I put those screen grabs? What? Show you what docs. Oh, oops. Sorry, you didn't want to see that stuff. So ironically, other experiments that have been done were... Um, Oh, wow, no. No, that couldn't have happened. <laughs> Chris, I said I wasn't going to do it. No. What? A picture that I should show people? What, this one? The one that was on TwitPick? <laughs> you know, I don't understand why people over in a war zone are just like uploading pictures up on TwitPick. You know, I know it's a great idea. But, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm bad, but I, nobody can see who I really am. Um, but the reality of it is, I mean, I think the biggest problem with the military is a lot of people don't understand all the wacky developer concepts with EXIF data. And I remember there was a big posting on this on SockNet. We're like, yeah, that girl's hot. That's it. Maybe that's why everybody fell for her. Yeah, of course, that's why. 
But guess what? You guys still gave up information. All right? The more information you give up, guess what? The more we can find on you. So when you get into tools like Multigo, you give up two pieces of information, it owns you. It gives up your phone number and your email address and your name. All right? So an example of it would be, if it works, when it down, close it out. So, other lovely, no, I'm not putting that, I'm not putting that, I'm not putting that. What? All right. Oh, wait. What was that? Other things you'll find when you're playing around. One of the biggest things that you... <laughs> yeah, sorry, Facebook. Um, but when you're screwing around and you have like all these different, you have your LinkedIn and your Facebook and your Twitter all connected. So if somebody sends like a little mal-coded bit.ly URL, guess what? You're sitting there on Facebook, you're looking at your friend's pictures and, oh shit, somebody just took control of me. What am I going to do? All right? Little something th to think about. Although, I was looking at this Frontierville. I didn't know who Bill Bolano was. It just popped up on Twitter. Doesn't that look like him? I don't know. So, anybody have any questions at this point? Because I'm, I'll go into it more, but does anyone have any questions from right now? What evidence do I have? Hmm. I have this thing called Outlook. And we could do star.mgtx. Where's it? MTGX. Oh. Nope, don't put those. What? Right. So who do you want to see proof from? Do you want to see a Google job request? Do you want to see a Google? Will that be proof? Let's, you should have accepted? Yeah, because they're paying a hell of a lot more than anybody else. Yeah. I'll have to set up an interview with them, huh? Job reviews. They're PDFs. Uh, so here's a posting from a guy who said, because a couple of rangers said, oh, nobody fell for it, but yet somebody goes on and posts this up on a blog. And I can tell you who it is, because once I put Robin was in a relationship, he called her a slut on, on Facebook. <laughs> I was like, damn. Let's see, no. Hmm. <laughs> you want to call him? Come on, Chris. You want to social engineer him? You want, you want that job at Google, don't you? But, <laughs> in all fairness, okay, I will give the Navy crypto techs kudos because I said this to every media, all right? Not everybody is bad about this, all right? So I go to join a LinkedIn group for crypto techs, and you can read what they wrote. 